In this experiment, we have a switch connected to an Adreno Mega. The switch is simulating a Morse key and the Adreno is measuring the times between the presses and the releases of the key. This information is then transmitted over a serial communication cable to a program on a PC which will decode the Morse into characters. If we press the switch you can see how the um, Adreno could measure the differences in time between the on and off states of the signal. Here we are showing the program written in C sharp which receives data from the Adreno Mega um, which is details about the key presses and releases which is simulating a Morse code key. If I press the button here we see the times in milliseconds. This is the time in milliseconds that the key was up and this is the time in milliseconds the key was down. So the key was down for 131 milliseconds. And I interpret any time under 200 milliseconds as being a dot, any time over 200 milliseconds as a dash. So if I input a dash, here we are, we see a dash. So this section shows the, resource, the raw received data. This one shows the attempt to interpret the incoming data. So a dot is an E, a dash is a T. If I do dot dot dot, it is an S. If I do dash dash dash, it's an O. If I do dot dash, it's an A. B C, D, E is a single dot, F, F, G, G, etc. So what's happening is the Adreno measures the times between the key presses and releases, transmits that up to the C-sharp program, which then decodes this into dots and dashes. In this section here, it is then fed into a dictionary, which then converts the dot 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 into a key, which is an S, or a dash 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 into a key, which is an O. And the top section shows the received message.